Hey there, Virgo. <clears throat> Hope you're doing well. I want to go ahead and get into your reading for <clears throat> the first portion of April 2019. So, yeah, sorry for the delay. Things have been crazy on my end. <clears throat> Show me energies for Virgo. I've already shuffled the shit out of these cards. Let's do more. <clears throat> Show me energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regard to love, relationship, and whatever else may need to come through. Virgo. So, we've got the Magician popping out in the reverse. <clears throat> the Magician in reverse is not really the best of cards. So, it can mean a few things. So, first of all, it can talk about somebody who um, may come toward you that may not have your best interest at heart. It's air, it's um, fire energy, usually Aries. But um, they don't have your best interest at heart. It's somebody that gathers information to kind of like prey upon a situation, to utilize what they know about you or a situation to get what they want out of it. Um, it can also talk about a necessity to learn from our lessons, a necessity to recognize cycles and perpetual situations in our lives that cause negativity and distress um, and us letting them go, you know, we're supposed to learn from these things, not perpetuate them. That's why they can be very difficult in our lives, you know? <clears throat> so could be a person, could be a situation and a, a way of doing things, but either way, kind of keep your guard up both ways. Show me more for Virgo. So you have the Knight of Pentacles here, Virgo. So now we have people. The magician could be a person too, could be an energy either way, but the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, um, he's somebody that is overly cautious. He's somebody that digs his heels in. He doesn't want to commit. He doesn't want to communicate. He's somebody that will take forever and ever and ever and not do anything about a situation. He gets there when he feels like it on his time. <clears throat> could be years later, you know? Um, I just feel it's important for you to be conscious of that energy. At the bottom of the deck, you have the three of swords here. <clears throat> so you may have a situation where you have a connection that was heartfelt with somebody in the past, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel that this thing is a positive movement in the right direction. I feel that this is more so touching upon a situation that may need to, to go, Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull more for you. Show me more for Virgo. So you have the world, and you've got something else playing out. You have the world here, upright. The world talks about um, energies where <clears throat> we need to finish cycles. It can talk about feeling like the world is on your shoulders. It can. I'm feeling more like ending of cycles, causing things to come down. You know, um, this is like huge learning points. Um, the world talks about recognizing um, <clears throat> what no longer needs to be, and it cuts situations out of our lives, you know. It can talk about travel, it can talk about being in connection to um, worldly connections as well, but what I'm feeling here is more of an energy where it's like learning the lesson of being with this person has brought you great sadness, Virgo, but it also is a time to, to free up the energy. <clears throat> what fell out with the world is the five of swords, or I'm sorry, the five of wands in reverse. So I can talk about letting go of difficult communication with somebody, not choosing not to engage with a person that causes mental frustration, um, you know, disarray in regard to what they communicate with you. It, it doesn't feel like this person, it's the knight of pentacles in reverse with the magician in reverse, you know, it, it feels like somebody who, um, who will use a situation for what they can. And, you know, I think at this point, it's probably best to just let a situation go. Let it go. Finalize it. Let it go. Like, do you want to maintain stagnancy? Do you want to maintain being hurt? Let, let it go. Show me more for her go. So <clears throat> beneath the Magician in Reverse, you have the um, Judgment card in Reverse. This talks about um, sometimes people wanting to resurrect a situation, sometimes people wanting to have reconciliation. 
Um, it can talk about also not utilizing your best judgment, not really paying attention to how a situation presents itself to you, really um, not listening to what somebody is saying to you and going into back into a situation where it's like, it's not for you. The magician in reverse is somebody that you want to essentially stay away from with the judgment card in reverse, like getting back involved with this person is going against your better judgment. It um, doesn't, it's not, I don't want to say prudent, but it's not prudent. Um, it doesn't provide you with stability. It doesn't provide you with honesty. <clears throat> okay. Show me more. So you have the two of wands here. Okay. So movement, choosing directions, um, if somebody has taken forever to get to you, you know, you may already be in a situation where you've like left it, but this person's come back, you know, again, these readings are somebody's coming back. Somebody's coming back. I'm kind of getting tired of it, but I'm going to read it anyhow, just because that's the energy that's presenting itself. Um, somebody may have come back after a situation has been stagnant for quite a while, but I also do want to mention here too, this may just be you moving away from a situation that no longer serves you. It's like, you know what? I don't want to engage in this. You've done what you've done. Let it go. You know, I think it's important here, Virgo, though, to feel this person. Um, there's something here that I'm feeling very... Um, <clears throat> you need to connect into your psychic energy. You need to connect into your intuitive energy in regard to this person, just because I feel that there's an energy here where it's like you have to focus in in a deeper way to deal with this thing, this thing, this thing, this person. I don't know. It feels like their energy is very um, dark. There's a darkness to them that I don't really, it's not quite sitting well with me. And I feel that like being engaged in that situation or with this energy of this person is almost depressing. Show me more for Virgo. So you have the lovers coming out in reverse. Um, this is a head over heart decision. Um, it can be a head over heart decision in regard to letting a situation go with somebody. Oh, good morning. Letting a situation go with somebody, choosing to let go, choosing to go in a direction that makes sense for you, something that doesn't provide you with any more conflict, any more frustration. <clears throat> um, something that, you know, some of you may be dealing with a situation where you're like traveling, you know, where you have world travel on your table. Um, this could also be a person saying that they want to travel the world with you, take you on a vacation, blah, blah, blah. I think it's important for you to um, maybe cut ties here with this person. Um, was it Leo? I believe had a reading where... Yeah, I don't want to go into anybody else's reading. There's been a lot of readings where somebody's coming back, and this feels like that energy as well, but I feel it's more important for you to release the situation just because it doesn't provide you with something that's going to be stable. It doesn't provide you with somebody who's going to be on the level with you, honest with you. Um, you know, <clears throat> sometimes people come back in our lives because those are the lessons that we need to, to, to learn. Sometimes a person is not going to be honest with us because it, it, it basically has to deal with fine tuning our own ability to say no, to recognize our value and our wealth, our, our I'm sorry, our sure wealth, but self-worth. Um, that type of energy, you know, so you need to like put your all seeing eye out there and really feel this person out. There's something here about like using your intuition with this person. I know I don't have any intuition cards, but I'm feeling very much like you need to be very, very clear in what they're presenting you. You need to feel very clear in what's being stated here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, there may be movement, the likely communication here for sure, but also movement in a direction that's not going to keep you ensnared in this, you know, um, some of you may take time off, you know, some of you may just figure out a situation that just shuts somebody out in reverse. This card talks about blocking people out. It talks about no longer, um, engaging in conversation with somebody <clears throat> because you're seeking your own balance. You're seeking your own, um, 
movement in life, you know. Some of us recognize that when a situation's over, it's over. Some of us are like champing at the bit to get back into it, you know. And it really depends upon our value, our self-worth, what we what we hold dear to ourselves. Um, you know, some of us are so lonely, and this isn't like a jab at anybody, but some of us are so lonely that we will be with anybody, <laughs> you know, we we will engage in a situation that's not healthy for us because we don't want to be alone it's okay to be alone it's okay to be alone Virgo um you know some of you may be in wonderful relationships and this reading isn't for you at all you know but the situation very much feels like somebody coming back and it doesn't feel like they've really changed it feels like they're here to manipulate okay show me more for Virgo So you have the king of pentacles here, Virgo, falling out. Um, <clears throat> so the king of pentacles is interesting. He is um, hes a money maker. He's stable. He's somebody who's very stubborn. He can be very materialistic. Um, he can pay attention to finances and money more than he does his family. Um, either way, though, it could also be a boss. It could be something where we're letting a situation go so we can actually step into the energy and power of the king of pentacles who is somebody who essentially stabilizes his life he takes care of what is necessary he's all about the necessity he's all about being pragmatic he's practical he's just that's it you know you do this you do it like this and that's how it's done and you don't divert from that because this is tried and true it's proven you know and you may need to step into that, Virgo. You know, like you guys have that beautiful analytical mind. You have discernment. <clears throat> you know, sometimes it's hard to let things go. But I think here we're at that point. I think here <clears throat> somebody's reading it was like, will you pass the test? This almost feels like a test. It feels like, why is this presenting itself again? Like, I thought I was good. I thought I was done. I thought I was leaving. Like... You know, why is this here again? Why is this person here again? And I don't, like I said, I don't feel that it would be wise to re-engage in this situation. So let's clarify some stuff, okay? <clears throat> All right, first, show me the magician in reverse for Virgo. So you have the three of swords here. It popped out sideways. I'm going to read it back and forth. Um, the Three of Swords, I believe that popped out on the bottom of the deck when the Knight of Pentacles popped out too. But either way, it could be wrong. This talks about um, heartbreak. It talks about frustration. It talks about being uncomfortable with love, being in a painful situation in our hearts regarding our emotions to love, to a connection with somebody, you know, disarray, bad feelings. <clears throat> in reverse, it talks about releasing that energy. It talks about letting it go. I feel here, if you were to um, re-engage with this person and maintain the situation, I feel that this would only promote heartbreak, heartache. I think it would negate the work that you've done on yourself in regard to moving forward towards what you want in your life. Um, and sometimes that doesn't have to be with a person at all. It can just be with ourselves, stabilizing the shit out of our life, you know? Money <laughs> is really important. I'm a Pisces and I'm like, that's like one of the hardest lessons for Pisces. Some, some Pisces, some Pisces are just rolling in it and they're great with money. Um, but a lot of Pisces are like, I don't get how you do it. I, I, you know, I've got like holes in my pockets. Um, Virgo, you guys can, you're, you're our opposite sign, you're Pisces opposite sign. So it's like, you, you see the things that we don't see. You, you experience things that stabilize you. Like you're very meticulous in regard to how you maintain your lives. Sometimes too meticulous, but if it works for you, then do it. You know, it's probably too meticulous for me. I'm fucking like wavy gravy everywhere. Show me the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Virgo. So yeah, you have the Ten of Swords here popping out in reverse with the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this person, whoever they are, you know, they come with a load of bullshit in their pants. And, you know, I would just say, hey, please, sir or ma'am, don't sit on my couch with your load of bullshit in your pants. Like, I don't really want that stench around my life anymore. Um, you know, it's important because, like, this person seems to 
be of the mindset where they're willing to manipulate a situation. This The, the magician in reverse is a manipulator. He's a master manipulator, okay? Um, <clears throat> this person, if that's the energy with him, he's somebody who will take his time to manipulate you. He, they, she, it doesn't really matter. But um, yeah, I wouldn't trust this. I wouldn't trust this. Um, what you're doing with the Ten of Swords in reverse is talking about letting a situation go. It's talking about no longer engaging in something that makes no sense for you to be in. It's almost as if the situation has been long enough where you're like, mm, no, mm, it doesn't make sense for me to be in this. I have more to do in my life on my own. You could be getting involved with the King of Pentacles down the road, but I feel that that energy is more so for you to step into at this time, Virgo. Show me the world for Virgo. Yeah, the world. So you have the fool for the world here. You also have the four of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this basically talks about having gone within, having done research on yourself, what makes you tick, how you feel in your life, and utilizing what you've learned about this person, utilizing what you've learned in life about relationships and situations with people like this. Does it work? Does it make you feel good? Mm -hmm. Unlikely. So with the world, you have the fool. This is talking about taking the world on. It's talking about recreating yourself, going into um, a new experience. It's talking about being very engaged in something that makes you feel excited and good and like you want to go into it, you know. Um, the world is essentially an oyster and there's nothing wrong with that. You have that card, you have that, that term, the world is your oyster popping up here as well with this two of wands, the direction that you choose to go in. You know, this is all about direction, satisfaction, but your own satisfaction, your own direction that you're choosing on your own. And I feel that there's a lot of stability regarding finance in regard to that as well. Like you need to either stabilize it or you're going towards a situation that's going to stabilize finances <clears throat> regardless. So show me um, the five of wands in reverse for Virgo. Yeah. You know what? You've got the Eight of Swords here for the Five of Wands. I feel that the situation, like and with the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck, um, I feel that the situation, no matter how you slice it, it's like you're not going to really know the truth with this person. You're not going to know which angle they're coming from, and I feel that there's always going to be an angle with them. There's always going to be an angle with them, you know? And so there's always some sort of, like, underlying deception with this person. So I would really say be careful about it be careful about it, you know? Um, <clears throat> I know my readings are not the nicest. I know my readings are like, don't do it, you know? But I'm not going to sugarcoat shit for you. You can't polish a turd. Like, you can't polish a turd. Like, don't do it, you know? And I've seen a lot of tarot readers out there being like, yeah, no, they're great. Da -da 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 -da. It's going to be wonderful. Puppies and kittens and rainbows flying out your ass. Whatever. I'm not that tarot reader. <clears throat> There's no point in that. There's no point in that. <laughs> What's the point in, like, lying to you if I'm seeing a particular thing, you know? Show me judgment in reverse for Virgo. Spinning. So, you have the Knight of Wands in reverse here with the Seven of Wands upright. <clears throat> in regard to this judgment card that lies right underneath the magician. So basically this person <laughs> is going to be in and out of your life. It's somebody who is a player. It's somebody, not just a player sexually, but somebody who plays with your emotions. Somebody who plays with, um, they toy with you. They take their time in toying with you. Like that's, some people are assholes for sport. Don't fall prey to them, okay? Don't fall prey to them. <clears throat> the seven of wands talks about being incredibly anxious. It talks about fighting. It talks about not wanting to engage in a situation that's coming toward you. It's like an onslaught that you have to protect yourself from. Protect yourself from this person. I don't know how many times I can reiterate that in this reading. Show me the two of wands for Virgo. <clears throat> yeah, so... <clears throat> You have, for the Two of Wands, you've got the Knight of Swords and you've got the Ace of Swords upright, okay? So, 
basically cutting somebody out to go for, forward towards what you want. The, the Knight of Swords, um, especially in reverse, <clears throat> he's somebody that is um, very difficult to deal with. Uh, sometimes can be a liar. Sometimes can be a manipulator. He can be very harsh in his communication. He can be very bold and blunt and exacting, but in reverse, he's somebody that will stretch the truth. He will bring things out of his ass just to say shit. And he can be very abrasive. He can be very um, cold and difficult to deal with. He's not the type of energy that you would want to engage in intentionally, <clears throat> engage with intentionally. But the um, Ace of Swords is also talking about cutting out the situation entirely. It talks about truth being told, your truth, you know, or whomever needs to speak their truth here. I feel it's you, <clears throat> Virgo. But like the truth being told, somebody, you giving your clarity to this person, letting them know, hey, you don't get to come into my life and rearrange things, you know, for your petty um, involvement. Like it, it feels petty here. But on a higher note, like this feels as if it's a situation that is particularly ta particularly tailored for you to recognize your self-worth, your value, um, your reason for being in relationships in the first place, you know? <clears throat> Show me um, the lovers in reverse for Virgo. <clears throat> so you have the Ace of Cups falling, falling out for the lovers in reverse. Um, I feel here that this ending leads you onto this path, but also everything that I just said right now about like learning about yourself, paying attention to um, what makes sense for you, um, your self-worth, your self-value, this is all tied into this. This doesn't just mean somebody comes and offers you love and you're going to fall in love. Sure, you may fall in love. Sure, somebody may offer you this. This person may offer you this. I wouldn't necessarily take it if this person is offering me this, but what I'm feeling here is that by shutting this energy off, you end up going towards what you actually do want here, Virgo. Um, and I think it's important for you to recognize that it's important for you to recognize like how people twist things in conversations, um, to benefit themselves, you know, how people twist things emotionally so they can kind of like connive you into like conniving. I'm feeling conniving energy. I think you need to really pay attention to what's being presented here. Show me the King of Pentacles for Virgo. Show me the King of Pentacles for Virgo. Yeah, so you have the Six of Cups falling out in reverse. Um, you know, the Six of Cups, it talks about somebody who is from our past. It could be somebody that we've had um, previous lifetimes with. There's definitely like, energy where we are... You know, there's that, um, how do I say it, like that soulmate energy, that deep connecting type energy, you know, so you may have a definite pull towards this person, but again, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're supposed to be in a relationship with them, okay? Um, in reverse, the con this can talk about, um, you know, not paying attention to the direction you need to go in. It can talk about um, somebody from your past being a turd. It can talk about somebody, you know, romanticizing a situation. Um, I think here... Virgo, you have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I think it's important to not be caught up in that energy. Some of you may have that. I feel more so romanticizing a situation <clears throat> or you're seeing somebody romanticize a situation. You can see through it a mile away. Um, I feel here, Virgo, that you are really looking at this person and evaluating how they um, level up in your life. And I think that they don't, you know. I think that they don't offer you emotional stability. I think that this is not a person that you can build a um, connected bond with. <clears throat> I feel that this is a person that will run you through the mud because they want to. Um, and as shitty as that sounds, some people are like that. Some people are assholes for sport. So I want to leave it there. I'm going to pull an oracle card here for you, Virgo. Um, I'm going to use the Nocturna deck. I've been using that one. I really resonate with this quite a bit. There you go. You have Dawn. I've never read this card. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. I don't know. I can't remember. All right. Let me sip some water. You have Dawn. Dawn! Go wash your dishes. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> 
All right, Virgo. Dawn, dawn, dawn. Dawn, dawn, dawn. Maybe I don't. Maybe I haven't read this one. It's the very last page. Dawn. Duality. Cycles. End. Dawn is defined as the end of the night, when the first light appears in the sky just before sunrise. The mountainous scene in this card was inspired by my 2015 trip to Bali. Mountainous scene in this card. Trip to Bali. I've never been to Bali. I'm reading the, reading the thingy. Um, as part of the trip, we did a sunrise hike up Mount Batur, one of the active volcanoes on the island. We started hiking around two in the morning when it was still dark and made it to the top right before the sun started rising. As I stood at the summit, enjoying my hot breakfast and watching the colors appear in the sky, I felt a sense of peace and completion having overcome a grueling journey. For the creatures of the night, another challenging night has passed and it is time for rest until the next sundown. <clears throat> C'est la vie, Monsieur Magician in Reverse. Yeah, um, I think that re-engaging in this situation is not healthy for you at all. Um, I've said that 10,000 times. I feel like I want to hit here, though. <clears throat> I felt a sense of peace and completion, having overcome a grueling journey. I feel that this has maybe been a grueling journey, whether it be the internal work that it takes to actually move forward towards away from away from something, the energy that it takes to move away from something. Sometimes it's very difficult to release. It's not difficult to let go of just because people want to hold on to things. You know, they want to trust again. And I'm a big, big believer in trusting again. But sometimes people are not going to show you that, that they can be trusted again. <clears throat> so, all right. My name is Isil. I'm on YouTube as the Altruistic Mystic. If this reading was helpful for you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to donate to my channel, there's a link in the description box below. Um, yeah, I will be back in a couple of weeks for the second portion of April 2019 reading. And I hope that this was helpful for you, whoever this is, Crosswatcher or Virgo. Um, yeah, good luck with everything and happy spring. All right, take care. Bye-bye, guys.